विजिट माई वेबसाइट डब्ल्यू 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 डॉट लर्न अभी डॉट कॉम और डाउनलोड अवर एंड्रॉइड एप्लीकेशन नेटवर्किंग प्लस एंड प्रैक्टिस ऑनलाइन नेटवर्किंग क्विज इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन एंड मेनी मोर सो गाइज वॉट आर यू वेटिंग फॉर गो एंड डाउनलोड इट राइट नाउ द लिंक इज इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन सेक्शन बिलो RIP stands for Routing Information Protocol. It is a distance vector protocol based on hop count matrix. Now, what is hop count? When a router forward up data packets to a network segment, it is counted as a single hop count. For example, when router 1 forward its packets to the router 2, it will count as one hop count. Same like this when router 2 forward its packet to the router 3 it will be count as two hop count and when the router 3 forward its packets to the router 4 it will count as three hop count same like this rip support maximum 15 hop counts which means maximum 16 routers can be configured in a rip not more than that so this is one of the biggest disadvantage of rip Let's see how does RIP works in a computer network. For example, there are eight routers connected to the network where router 1 wants to send data to the router 3. If the network configured with RIP, it will choose the route with the least number of hops. Now tell me in this diagram which is the shortest path according to RIP. Here we have three possible routes. root 1 root 2 and the root 3 and the rip will choose the second root because it has only two hop counts whereas the root number 1 has three hop count and the root number 3 has four hop counts let's take an another example there are six routers connected in the network where router 1 wants to send data to router 4 here we have two possible route to reach the destination that is route number 1 and the route number 2 but in this scenario both the route has same number of hop counts that is 3 now can you tell me which route does the router is going to choose for sending the packets The router will send the packets via both the routes at the same time and like this it is going to manage the load balancing and the data will reach to the destination bit faster Now let's look at the few disadvantages of RIP that is routing information protocol RIP is only based on hop count matrix so if there is better route available with more bandwidth RIP is not going to choose that particular route. As for example, there are eight routers connected in the network where route with the least number of hop is route 2. But there is lots of traffic in this particular route. In this case, the router is not going to check that route 1 is free and data can be reached faster. instead of this it will send the data via route 2 only and this particular route will become more slower due to heavy traffic so this is one of the biggest disadvantage of rip now let's look at the few more disadvantages of rip that is rip is a class full routing protocol and it does not support vlsm that is variable length subnet mask RIP broadcast the updates to the entire network and simply creates a lots of traffic. Bandwidth utilization in RIP is very high as it broadcast its update in every 30 seconds. RIP supports maximum 15 hop counts which means maximum 16 routers can be configured in RIP not more than that. Here the convergence rate is slow. which means the time any link goes down it should quickly choose an alternate route but in case of rip it takes long time 
the rib administrative distance is 120 which is also called ad value the less ad value is more reliable but the rib has the highest ad value and it is not as reliable as other routing protocol now let's have a look how rip updates its routing table rip update timer is 30 second all the routers configured with rip send their updates in every 30 second the rip invalid timer is 180 second which means if any of the router got disconnected from the network or the link goes down the neighbor router wait for 180 second to hear the update if it does not receive any update it is going to mark that particular route as not reachable after that there is a flash timer which is 240 second if the route does not go up or not send the update till 240 second which is almost equal to 4 minute the neighbor router is going to completely remove that particular route from its routing table which is a very slow process it should not take four minutes guys four minutes it's too long time as we know that there are lots of disadvantages in rip but here are few advantages too that is it is easy to configure there is no complexity and the less cpu utilization so guys this is the theory part of rip that is routing information protocol in my next video i'm going to explain you how to configure rip in a computer network so guys whatever things i have explained you in this video you can directly take a note from my website www.learnabi.com or from my android application networking plus all the link you will get in the description section below